good old fun music we can all groove and chill to. Stay tuned right here on the Iconic Playlist. This is the Iconic Playlist. Alrighty, so today we are talking about an album from an artist that I really, really enjoy listening to, but I haven't talked about crazy amount of times on the channel. Now, I showed the Johnny Cash, I think it's like the Columbia box set, you know, with the, all of his albums, or at least all, most of his albums, because those Mercury albums aren't in there. And I think there's a whole separate box set for those Mercury albums I do plan on getting at some point for sure. But in the meantime, that box had like 50 albums or something like that of Johnny Cash, and it's an amazing box set, amazing sound quality, and so forth. And I wanted to talk about one of the albums in here. And you know, over time, I'll ta start talking more about all the different Johnny Cash albums because Johnny Cash is one of those artists that I just, no matter what mood I'm in, no matter what genre of mood I'm in, I always like listening to Johnny Cash. There's just something so simplistically awesome with him. You know, it's not that he's the greatest vocalist or greatest guitarist or greatest writer, but there's just something so plain yet so great with a Johnny Cash. And I never really get tired of him. And I think generally speaking, a lot of people feel that way. Today, we're talking about the album I would like to see you again, which I think is very underrated. I don't really hear people talk about this album. You always hear, you know, Folsom Prison and, you know, San Quentin, I Rock the Line, you know, but you never really hear anything about I Would Like to See You Again, like the album, which also features the song I'd Like to See You Again. I don't know the history of all these songs. I'm not going to pretend I do. And I, don't, I think some of these might be uh, not originally only from this album, because I'm pretty sure Abner Brown was sung on another album as well that he did. Anyway, I'm just talking about the album as it is you know i think it's a great album from start to finish and generally speaking a lot of johnny cash's music sounds very similar to each other you know he has the very same format going on kind of like how nickelback keeps the same format and so on you're like oh that's johnny cash he he kind of does a little bit of a variation in this where yes there's similarities but it seems like almost every song sounds slightly different, which is refreshing because when you listen to an album, you don't want every song to sound the same. It's why I listen to most of my Johnny Cash music, you know, shuffled on like an MP3 player, streaming, whatever, because I don't want to just hear the straight albums necessarily all the time. But with this album, there's enough differences with each song's style, where it's not like an overhaul difference where it would be like jarring to listen to, but it's enough difference where it sounds fresh every track. You know, starting with I Would Like to See You Again and going to Lately, I Wish I Was Crazy Again, Who Gene Autry, Hurt So Bad, I Don't Think I Could Take You Back Again, then going to, like I said, Abner Brown, which I'm pretty sure was on another album that he also did, After Taxes, which again, I think that was on another album as well, but that's a great song. I, I love that song, After Taxes. It's just funny. You know, Johnny Cash has a lot of just like fun, funny songs that just sound great because he's doing them. There Ain't No Good Chain Gang is another underrated song. I think that song is great too. That's the way it is. If I'm saying that was like the more talking-like track, which was very different to hear on this album. And then going to the final track, which in my opinion is the most criminally underrated Johnny Cash song of all time. I absolutely love I'm All Right Now. Number one, Johnny Cash's vocal performance on this is absolutely phenomenal. When it goes towards the end, he just has like way more strength in his voice. It's one of the strongest times I've ever heard Johnny Cash sing. It is just so cool to hear him on this. You can tell he's very passionate about this song and it just, you can feel the life in his voice and in this song. The lyrics itself, I don't know if he wrote the lyrics or if it's somebody else's song that he's covering. I thought that he wrote the lyrics, but I don't have it in front of me to know. The lyrics are just absolutely great. You know, the music production of it is awesome. The sound quality from this box set is really, really amazing. Can't judge the vinyl. I'm sure the vinyl is also good. But I'm all right now. Oh my goodness. It is my favorite Johnny Cash song. I think man, it is so underrated. I don't know why I never hear anybody ever talk about this song. I'm sure some hardcore fans of Johnny Cash probably like it. I really don't know. I'm not into the Johnny Cash fan groups and stuff to really know. <laughs> but the casual person who listens to Johnny Cash or whatever, I never hear ever, ever mention I'm All Right Now. And that's just disappointing because it's just amazing. If you like Johnny Cash or if you just like, you know, this style of music even, and you're not even a huge fan of Johnny Cash, you should definitely check out I'm All Right Now. Oh, Oh my goodness, that second half of the song especially is just his voice just picks up so great. You know, my only complaint would be that I wish it was a little bit longer, but you know, at the time, it's not like songs are, you know, going to be that long back then. I think this song was like, like two minutes, like, like 220 or something like that, I forget, but you know, it's really short and I feel like he could have just repeated a few verses or added a couple extra or whatever, uh, but yeah, that's not really a real complaint. It's just phenomenal. It's an enjoy to listen to. You know, I never get tired of hearing it. Anytime it comes on, I just let it play. There's times I literally just listen to it on repeat. You know, I go in moods like that sometimes with music where I just want to hear the one song on repeat. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes I do. 
some t- one time I got distracted doing stuff and I forgot I left things on loop and then like the whole day it was just one song on loop I forget what song it was but and I just had it in the background so I never noticed it and then I realized like six hours later that it was still the same song on repeat which is pretty funny yeah I'm all right now it's never tiring it's never tiresome to hear and yeah it's just great the whole album though is really really great and I think it's very underrated and that's why I wanted to make this short video just praising this album a little bit also the album cover for the album is also really nice too I gotta be honest like I think the album cover is really cool too not that the album cover really means much but I like you know good album covers and I think it looks really great as well so anyway I hope you enjoyed this you know short discussion about Johnny Cash's I would like to see you again I haven't made a lot of videos over the last few days because I just wasn't feeling well and then I got busy after I wasn't you know after I got better so I just never had time so I will be going back to making consistent videos again now <laughs> which is good so anyway I hope you enjoyed like I said leave a like comment and subscribe for more music related videos